What's going on YouTube? It's your boy BXD King and I'm back with another banger. Yeah, it's a banger, bro. So today is September 20th. The day after my little man was born, bro. So I'm super excited to share him with you guys. Um experiences and I just want to get a little bit from Clarissa on how she feels she's making a, a tea and stuff right now she had breakfast I had a little some breakfast you know they want to feed the brother you feel me but um yeah we're gonna just get a little take on Clarissa and um I need y'all to like I need y'all to comment I need y'all to subscribe to the channel bro cuz BXD I'm coming back bro no cap Hi. Now, what do you want me to say? What I want you to say, just tell them a, a little bit about um, your experience this time. Not as good as the first two times. Uh -huh. um, I say that my surgery was well. Like, the doctors, everybody took care of me really well. The pain is not as bad as the first two. It's, at least it's, it's just my pain is around my like stomach and my back. It's not like before, like when my whole body was like out of it. And then it's just the nurses, everybody was locked. They kept me in recovery for eight hours, like almost seven hours, eight hours. Seven hours. Yeah, so I didn't eat like literally almost a whole day. And they wanted, because they were so long and I couldn't order nothing, they wanted to go outside to get me food to eat. So it's just like, and then this room was hot, no air conditioner. So I was, Dying, he wasn't, but I couldn't sleep. So I literally had like two and a half hours of sleep I since I've been here. I think I slept. Before. He slept, but I didn't want to wake him. He kept saying, "You could wake me," but I didn't want to wake. He was he was tired because he haven't slept. You know, he's been excited. Then Chassie keeps him up, so I'm like, I'll just you know, I just was just sitting here, just like in irritation. And then I have an episode because the, the, the freaking nurses talk about I gotta wait for this nurse in order for them to take the catheter out. And I was just like, I just wanna move. I can, like, if a woman ever experienced, like, when you have the catheter and your IV, and then you got all this stuff hooked up and you can't move, but anyone could just be confined in one spot, that's just, it's just irritating. Yeah, it's like jail. So it's just like, I'm just sitting here, just like, I can't do nothing, I can't move, I can't, like, get up, I can't, like, I just have to sit here until somebody come and assist me, you know, which was nerve-wracking, because I was more scared to get an infection, because, you know, calculation, you're not supposed to, you're supposed to change every couple of hours, and they didn't really, get, they didn't really change, so, the night shift here, last night was bad. Mm hmm Um, what you call it, hey, what's your pain level from... The first baby, the second baby, so the third. Clarity was about an eight and a half. Chastity was a nine, because they pulled so much. This baby, I'm surprised. I'm, I'm only right now, I'm only feeling four. A it's four? A four only because where my scission is and my lower back where they put the epidural. That's the only thing that's hurting me. That's crazy. So guys, um, that's surprising to me. Back you up a little bit, yeah. Um, that's surprising to me that her pain level is only at a four, but I think it's because of that. I think it's because um, our son is so small. He's not as big. She was like water, basically. It, like she was big, but it was like more water. So I maybe mean, she he wasn't putting that much pressure on all of your stuff because he was so I small. Mean, I know that with clarity. That was my first time having a C-section, so my that was my first time my body having a surgery into that that vasive. So I was sore, like head to toe. Yeah. Then with chastity, they said that my like I had a lot of scar tissue, so I was in the surgery room for like a minute, like an hour. You know, don't. They was like pushing a lot on my stomach. They was like yanking me a lot. So when I started feeling the pain, it was like from my shoulders to my feet. Like it was irritating. And with them two, I was I had swelling. With him I had no swelling. 
that's I think that's another thing because I have too much information in my body. Because when you have a lot of information, you tend to get sore and, and be in pain. But I don't have a lot of information. My stomachs are like basically almost down. I just have a little bit of a little bit of swelling. Mm -hmm. Like with the, with them with Chastity Clary, my stomach was still big and it didn't go down until a week later. Mm -hmm. So I already I could feel it because all that pressure from my back. Because anytime you have a baby, it's like belly takes a lot of weight on your back. So with no belly, I just I don't feel like um a lot of um pressure. Back. Baby boy, um, as handsome as ever. You know, all my kids look good, bro. But I ain't gonna lie, the best uh, uh, baby boy, kid, toddler, whatever you want to call, it. <laughs> infant, the best looking one on YouTube, bro. No cap, the best looking one. You feel me? I mean, clarity. Yeah. Like, I was surprised because he came out light skin. I'm thinking, I ain't gonna lie, I thought it was like, oh, we're gonna have another chocolate cake, we're gonna have another one. I was surprised he came out. And I'm just still saying, like, what? Well, how even he coming out light skin? I'm dark skin now. I'm on brown. I ain't nowhere near light. It don't matter. We can have light and old dark babies. Yeah, so. so. But he's, he's, he's super handsome. He looks like. He looks like Clarity, but all the Davon's kids got his full head. Every last one. Mm -hmm. That's one thing you know. I got the kid. strong genetics, bro. My genetics is superior, bro. No cap. Yeah, but um, okay. he doesn't have as much hair as um the girls, but he have a head full of hair. Mm -hmm. He just, yeah, he not bald, but um, he don't have as much hair. Like Chastity had the most hair. Clarity had a lot of hair too, but. Chastity had, she was like a chachia pet, bro. No yeah. cap. She had wow here. Yeah. Like, within a month, she could have did twisties, twisties in her head. Yeah. So, but um. She had some curly hair. Yeah, she had curly hair. But um, what you call it? Um. So, you feeling pretty good right now, I guess. I feel pretty good, and I want to get out of here. Like, I'm trying to make sure I do. Because with clarity, I didn't. When I first had Claire, I didn't know that you have to be up and active and do all this other stuff to get out. Because with Claire, I stayed in here five days. Chastity stayed in two and two and two and a half. Two days, yeah. Yeah, and I was just getting up and walking, and I'm already passing gas, which is good. So they probably don't have to give me gas X. And um, the only thing I don't know, cause I didn't, that the um, you know they want you to move a makeup on my um, um, bowel movement so I don't know about that that takes a little while because it's like when they move your stuff around in your stomach when you have a c-section it takes a minute for your body to go back to a normal state where you could um, do that first doodle when you come out hurts like hell though <laughs> <laughs> and you feel like you could feel it all go through your whole body and to come out that should hurt mm. well yeah I have that guys um I got um, a lot of videos that I've already pre-recorded. I just haven't been posting it because I've been not having the time. I've been tired and, you know, getting ready. You know, we moved, so still building things in the house and moving things around. So I haven't really um, had the time to post videos like that. It's been a couple days, probably like a little over a week now since I post anything on my YouTube channel. But if y'all guys made it this far, I appreciate all you guys for subscribing to the channel. All y'all guys that came from TikTok over to my YouTube channel. Guys, this year we need to get to a thousand subscribers. We need to fully monetize this channel this by before this year is this year is over. So I need y'all to come over to the family, bro. And um stay tuned because I got a lot of things that's gonna be popping off. I'm on paternity leave for three months. So we finna get popping every day. I'm gonna be pushing out videos, guys. So again, like, comment, share, subscribe. But we gonna see y'all in a few. This video ain't over. We still in the hospital. No cap. What's going on, guys? So this is the second day. Got the baby in my hand right now. Y'all get to see him a little later. Let him get some old features in, but he very handsome though. Super handsome. 
Um, hopefully we get out of here today. Um, it's about... It's 7.09 right now, so um, we hungry. Hopefully they bring something good for breakfast because I will go outside and get some good breakfast if they don't. Um, Clarissa's feeling better. I believe she's feeling better. Um, Y'all can talk to her in a bit about that, but um, I'm excited to get back home and see my daughters. I haven't seen them in two days. Not even a FaceTime, just because I don't want them to, you know, get all uh, excited and worked up and sad and yeah knowing that I can't be there um, so hopefully today we are going home today um, baby boy went through another procedure besides coming out you know you had to get that circumcision man but um he's he's doing good right now he's sleeping I got him in my arm right now yeah, guys, but well, um, I guess Carissa could tell y'all more about how she's feeling and everything else, guys. Stay tuned. No cap. What's going on, guys? So, just got back into the house. Um, everybody's sleeping right now. The girls are sleeping. Nanny's sleeping. Um, just put the baby in his crib after changing him. Clarissa's in the bathroom. So probably I'll get more information for her to get to y'all in the next video. Make sure y'all like, comment, share, and subscribe, guys. Be free. And I'm out.